As of June 26, 2011, there have been 550 foreign private contractor deaths in Iraq as part of the Iraq War. Of those, 257 are Americans and 59 Britons, 225 of those killed were private military contractors or PMCs. In addition, at least 938 Iraqi private contractors have been killed for a total of 1,487 contractors dead. As of June 20, 2012, there have been 1,569 U.S. private contractor deaths in Iraq. Topic: Incidents. Topic 2003 April 10, 2003 American, Robert Grimm, was killed in a vehicle accident on the Kuwait-Iraq border. He was working for National Response Corp. of Long Island as a fireman. July 10, 2003 American, name unknown, was killed in a vehicle accident near Basra. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. July 21, 2003 Britain, Peter Rudolph, drowned when he fell ill while on a dive near UM QASR. He was working for Subsurface Inc. as a diver. August 5, 2003 American, Fred Bryant Jr., was killed by a roadside bomb near Tikrit. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. August 10, 2003 Nepali, name unknown, was killed by a riot in Basra. He was working as a PMC. August 19, 2003 American, Nadan Audisho Unadam, was killed in an ambush in Tikrit. He was working for the U.S. Army as a translator. September 3, 2003 American, Vernon Gaston, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as operations manager at the Joint Military Mail Terminal at Baghdad Airport. September 4, 2003 Britain, Ian Rimmel, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He was working for Mines Advisory Group as a bomb disposal expert. September 12, 2003 Jordanian, name unknown, was killed by friendly fire in Fallujah. He was working for a Jordanian hospital as a PMC. September 25, 2003 Somali, name unknown, was killed by a bomb in Baghdad. He was working for a hotel housing journalists from U.S. television network NBC as a PMC October 9, 2003 American, Kirk Von Ackerman, was captured on a road between Kirkuk and Tikrit, he is still missing and presumed dead. He was working for IREX services as a PMC. The CID determined that Von Ackerman died on October 9, 2003 in a botched kidnapping attempt. They still, however, refuse to give out information on his case which is still active. Ackerman's body was never found. November 2, 2003 Two Americans, Roy Buckmaster and David Dias, were killed by a roadside bomb in Fallujah. They were working for EOD Technology, Inc. as bomb disposal experts. November 13, 2003 American, Forrest Snare, was killed in an ambush west of Ballard. He was working for IAP Worldwide Services as a private contractor. November 17, 2003 American, Brent McGennett, was killed by a land mine in Tikrit. He was working for Proactive Communications Inc. as a communications contractor. Hungarian, Petr Varga Balas, was killed by friendly fire near Ramadi. He was working for Toiva KFT as a truck driver. November 23, 2003 Two Americans, Todd Drobnik and Gordon Sinclair, were killed in a vehicle accident between Mosul and Dohuk. They were working for Titan National Security Solutions as translators. November 29, 2003 Colombian, Jorge Arias Duke, was killed in an ambush in Ballard. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a PMC. November 30, 2003 Two South Koreans, Man Soo Kim and Kong Hae Kwak, were killed in an ambush south of Tikrit. They were working for Omu Electric Co. as electricians. December 14, 2003 American, Ryan Manlik, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for IREX Services as a PMC. Topic 2004 January 5, 2004 Canadian, Richard Flynn, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working as a PMC. January 6, 2004 Two Frenchmen, names unknown, were killed in an ambush in Fallujah. They were working as private contractors. January 14, 2004 Two Americans, names unknown, were killed in an ambush near Tikrit. They were working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as truck drivers. 
January 21, 2004 American, Jody Detheridge, was killed in a vehicle accident. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. January 24, 2004 Pakistani, Habibur Rahman, was killed in an ambush. He was working for a Saudi Arabian firm as a truck driver. January 26, 2004 American, Arthur Lindemann Jr., was killed in an ambush near Tikrit. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. January 29, 2004 South African, Francois Stridham, was killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. He was working for SAS International as a PMC. Four other South African PMC were injured. February 8, 2004 Fijian, Tamazi Ramato, was killed in a mortar attack in Baghdad. He was working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as a PMC. February 16, 2004 American, Ray Parks, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for American Services Center as a private contractor. February 23, 2004 American, Albert Luther Caton, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. February 29, 2004 American, Travis B. Whitman, was killed in a vehicle accident in Baghdad. He was working as a PMC. March 16, 2004 A Dutch and a German, names unknown, were killed in an ambush near Hiller. They were working as water project engineers. March 18, 2004 Britain, Scott Mounts, was killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. He was working for an Italian communications company as a telecommunications engineer. March 22, 2004 Two Finns, Seppo Harpanen and Jorma Toronen, were killed by a sniper west of Baghdad. They were both businessmen. March 28, 2004 A Canadian and a Briton, Andy Bradsell and Christopher MacDonald, were killed in an ambush in Mosul. They were working for Olive Security as PMCs. March 31, 2004 Four Americans, Wesley Batalona, Scott Helvenston, Michael Teague and Yurko Zovko, were killed when they were ambushed and massacred in Fallujah. Their bodies were mutilated and hanged for public display. They were working for Blackwater Security as PMCs. April 1, 2004 Czech, Jury Duran, was killed in an accidental gas explosion at a refinery in Baiji, Iraq. He was working for Chemo Project as a petrochemical expert. April 3, 2004 American, EMAD Mika, was killed in an ambush in Muktadiya. He was working for Titan National Security Solutions as a translator. April 6, 2004 South African, Gray Branfield, was killed during street fighting in Al Kut. His body was mutilated and hanged for public display. He was working for Heart Security Company as a PMC. Bulgarian, Mario Manchev, was killed in an ambush south of Nasiriya. He was working for SOMAT as a truck driver. April 7, 2004 Two Germans, Tobias Retterath and Thomas Hafenecker, were killed by Iraqi terrorists in an ambush near Fallujah. They were members of the elite counterterrorism unit GSG-9 working at the German embassy as guards. The second officer, Thomas Hafenecker, is still missing today. April 8, 2004 American, Tim Smith, was killed in an ambush. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. Britain, Michael John Bloss, was killed in an ambush near Hit. He was working for Custer Battles as a PMC. April 9, 2004 Seven Americans, William Bradley, Timothy Bell, Stephen Hewlett, Stephen Scott Fisher, Tony Dwayne Johnson, Jack Montague and Jeffrey Parker, were killed when the convoy was ambushed and decimated in Baghdad. Bradley and Bell were initially classified as missing. Bradley's remains were recovered in 2005, while Bell is still missing and presumed dead. Another American, Thomas Hamill, was captured but he escaped the next month. They were working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as truck drivers. Two Nepalese, Ram Bahada Gurung and Shiva Prasad Lawati, were killed by a land mine in northern Iraq. They were working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as PMCs. April 10, 2004 American, Nick Berg, was captured in Baghdad and executed on May 7. His remains were recovered the next day. He was a businessman. April 11, 2004 Dane, Henrik Franson, was shot and killed in Baghdad. He was a businessman. Romanian, Aaron Alexandru, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He was working for Bidipa as a PMC. 
April 12, 2004 South African, Hendrik Vizagy, died at a U.S. military hospital from wounds received five days earlier in an ambush while escorting a convoy of diplomats from Jordan to Baghdad. He was working for Erinese International as a PMC. April 13, 2004 Italian, Fabrizio Quattrochi, was captured, along with three other Italians, and executed the next day. The other three Italians were rescued later that month. He was working as a PMC. April 22, 2004 South African, Francois de Beer, was shot and killed in Baghdad. He was working for Meteoric Tactical Solutions as a PMC. April 25, 2004 Two Americans, Thomas Carter and Vincent Foster, were killed by a roadside bomb near Bai G. They were working for Cochise Consultancy Inc. as PMCs. April 28, 2004 Filipino, Rodrigo Reyes, was killed in an ambush in Abdali, near the Kuwait border. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. April 29, 2004 South African, name unknown, was shot and killed in Basra. He was working for a construction company as a PMC. April 30, 2004 American, Mike Price, was killed by a roadside bomb near Bai G. He was working for Cochise Consultancy Inc. as a PMC. South African, name unknown, was killed by a landmine in Fallujah. He was working for a British security company as a PMC. May 1, 2004 American, Christian F. Kilpatrick, was killed in an ambush near Tikrit. He was working for Dinkorp International as a PMC. Turk, Semel Ugar, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He was working as a truck driver. May 2, 2004 two Fijians, Kalepi Karanivalu and Amori Vunabakoy, were killed in an ambush in Mosul. They were working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as PMCs. May 3, 2004 American, Aban Elias, was captured in Baghdad, he is still missing and presumed dead. He was working as a civil engineer. May 7, 2004 American, Daniel Parker, was killed by a roadside bomb in Baghdad. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a PMC. Poles, Valdemar Malevich and Munir Buamrain were killed in an ambush in Latifia. They were working as a journalist and cameraman for Polish National TV. May 10, 2004 A New Zealander, John Robert Tyrrell, and a South African, William, Bill, John Richard, were killed in an ambush in Kirkuk. They were working for an Iraqi construction company as engineers. May 11, 2004 Filipino, Raimundo Natividad, was killed in a mortar attack near Ballad. He was working for Prime Projects International as a warehouseman. Russian, Alexei Konarev, was killed in an ambush in Musaib, south of Baghdad. He was working for Intranergo Service as a construction worker. May 12, 2004 Two Turks, Swayip Kaplanli and the other name unknown, were killed in an ambush in Mosul. They were working for Yuxal Construction as construction workers. May 13, 2004 Two Americans, Henry Doll and Jesse Gentry, were killed in a vehicle accident near Tikrit. They were working for Dinkorp International as PMCs. May 14, 2004 Britain, Brian Tilly, was killed in an ambush. He was working for an Egyptian communications project as a PMC. May 18, 2004 Britain, Andrew Harries, was killed in an ambush between Mosul and Erbil. He was working for Armour Group as a PMC. May 24, 2004 Two Britons, Mark Carmen and Bob Morgan, were killed by a roadside bomb in Baghdad. Carmen was working for Control Risks Group as a PMC, while Morgan was working for the British Foreign Office as a petroleum consultant. May 25, 2004 Two Russians, Viktor Dinkin and Vyacheslav Ovsyanikov, were killed in an ambush south of Baghdad. They were working for Intranergo Service as power plant technicians. May 30, 2004 American, Bruce Toe, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for Dinkorp International as a PMC. June 2, 2004 American, Richard Bruce, was killed in a vehicle accident. He was working for Blackwater Security as a PMC. June 5, 2004 Two Americans, Jared Little and Chris Nydrick, and two Poles, Christoph Kaskos, Artur Zukowski, were killed in an ambush in Baghdad. They were working for Blackwater Security as PMCs. American, James Gregory Wingate, was killed by a roadside bomb near Haditha. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. Britain, Craig Dickens, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He was working for Armour Group as a PMC. 
June 11, 2004 Lebanese, Hussein Ali Alian, was captured and executed. He was working as a construction worker. June 13, 2004 American, Sean Fife, died of natural causes. He was working for Environmental Chemical Corp. International as a construction worker. June 14, 2004 An American, Bill Hope II, two Britons, Keith Butler and John Poole, a Frenchman, name unknown, and a Filipino, Raul Flores, were killed by a car bomb in Baghdad. The two Britons were working for Olive Security as PMCs, while the rest worked for Granite Services, Inc. as power industry workers. American, Rex G. Sprague III, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He worked for Titan National Security Solutions as a PMC. June 17, 2004 American, Walter J. Zebryski, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. Turk, Faisal Demir, was killed by friendly fire in Baghdad. He was working for Turkish MFTR, of prefab housing as a truck driver. June 19, 2004 Portuguese, Roberto Carlos, was killed by a roadside bomb south of Basra. He was working for Al Athir as a telecommunications worker. June 22, 2004 Britain, Julian Davies, was killed in an ambush in Mosul. He was working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as a PMC. South Korean, Kim Sun Il, was captured and executed. He was working for Ghana General Trading Co., as a supplier. June 27, 2004 American, Joseph Argules, was killed when his transport plane was fired on over Baghdad. He worked for readiness management. SVCs, as an electric power specialist. July 2, 2004 American, Vern O'Neill Richardson, died at the U.S. Military Hospital in Landstall, Germany, of wounds he received in a mortar attack. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a construction foreman. July 9, 2004 Two Turks, names unknown, were killed in an ambush near Samara. They were working as truck drivers. July 12, 2004 Turk, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb near G. He worked as a truck driver. July 13, 2004 Bulgarian, Georgi Lazev, was captured and executed in Mosul. He worked for a Bulgarian trucking company as a truck driver. July 17, 2004 Jordanian, Ayyid Nasir, was killed in an ambush in Ramadi. He worked as a truck driver. Turk, Abdul Chelil Bayek, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He worked as a truck driver. July 19, 2004 American, Mike Copley, was killed in a mortar attack in Samara. He was working for United Defense Industries as a Bradley Fighting Vehicle Maintenance Technician. July 20, 2004 Russian, Anatoly Kerenkov, died at a Moscow hospital of wounds he received in an ambush. He worked for Intranergo Service as a power plant technician. July 22, 2004 Bulgarian, Ivilo Kepov, was captured and executed near G. He was working for a Bulgarian trucking company as a truck driver. July 25, 2004 Jordanian, Marwan Zorer al Rusan, was shot and killed in Mosul. He was a businessman. July 28, 2004 Two Pakistanis, Raja Azad and Sajad Naim, were captured and executed. They were working for Al Tamimi Group as construction workers. August 1, 2004 Turk, Murat Yus, was captured and executed. He was working for Bilintur as a cleaner. August 2, 2004 Turk, Ferret Neural, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He worked as a truck driver. August 4, 2004 Turk, Osman Allison, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He worked for Ulasli Oil Company as a truck driver. August 10, 2004 Egyptian, Mohammed Abdel Aal, was captured and executed. He worked as a car mechanic. August 11, 2004 American, Kevin Rader, was killed in an ambush. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. August 12, 2004 Indian, Eldho Abraham, was killed by a roadside bomb in Baghdad. He worked for a British construction company, Frame Project International, as an electrical engineer. August 16, 2004 South African, Herman Pretorius, was killed in an ambush in Mosul. He was working for Dincorp International as a PMC. August 22, 2004 Indonesian, Fahmy Ahmed, was killed in an ambush in Mosul. He was working for a subcontractor to Siemens as a telecommunications engineer. Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush between Tikrit and Kirkuk. 
He worked for a Tikrit bridge repair firm as a construction worker. August 23, 2004 – Three Macedonians, Dalibor Lazarevsky, Dragan Markovic and Zoran Naskovsky, were captured and executed in Baghdad. They were working for Sufan Engineering as construction workers. Jordanian, Beshir Ahmed, was killed in a car hijacking between Tikrit and Baiji. He was a businessman. August 24, 2004 – American, Jamal Tufik Salman, was captured and executed. He was working as a translator. August 27, 2004 – Egyptian, Jordi Baker, was shot and killed in Baiji. He was working as a private contractor. August 30, 2004 – 12 Nepalese were captured and executed. Their names were, Prakash Adhikari, Ramesh Kadka, Leyland Singh Koiri, Mangal Bahada Limbu, Jit Bahada Tapa Magar, Gyanendra Shrestha, Rajendra Kumar Shrestha, Bodhan Kumar Sa Sudhi, Manoj Kumar Thakur, Sanjay Kumar Thakur, Bhekh Bahada Tapa and Bishnu Hari Tapa. They were working for Morning Star Co. as cooks and cleaners. Three Turks, Majid Mehmet al Ghulami, Yahya Sada, and one name unknown, were captured and executed near Samara. They were working as truck drivers. September 4, 2004 – American, John N. Mallory, was killed in an ambush in Taji. He was returning to his home base in Baghdad after picking up a payment at Camp Anaconda, Ballad, Iraq. At the time of his death he was working for Mayday Supply as a project manager. Egyptian, Nasser Salama, was captured and executed near Baiji. He was working as a private contractor. September 10, 2004 – American, William Earl Bowers, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He was working for Say Group Inc. as an engineer. September 14, 2004 – Two Canadians, Andrew Shmakov and Munir Toma, were killed by a car bomb in Baghdad. They were working as private contractors. American, Todd Engstrom, was killed in an ambush near Ballard. He was working for EOD Technology Inc. as a PMC. September 16, 2004 – Two Americans, Eugene Armstrong and Jack Hensley, and a Briton, Kenneth Bigley, were captured in Baghdad. Armstrong was executed on September 20, Hensley was executed the next day and Bigley was executed on October 7. They were working for Gulf Services Co. as engineers. September 21, 2004 – Turk, a.k.a. R. Bashir, was captured and executed. He was working as a truck driver. September 28, 2004 – American, Roger Moffat, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. September 29, 2004 – Britain, Ian Hunter, was killed in a vehicle accident in Tikrit. He was working for Armour Group as a PMC. September 30, 2004 – Britain, Alan Wimpenny, was killed by a roadside bomb near Samara. He was working as a PMC. October 4, 2004 – South African, Johan Hatting, was killed and one other South African, Gavin Holtzhausen, was wounded by a suicide car bomber on Sadoon Street, Baghdad. Holtzhausen later died of his injuries. October 11, 2004 – Two Britons, died in Kirkuk, one, Paul Chadwick, accidentally shot himself while the other, name unknown, was killed by a sniper. They were working for Armour Group as PMCs. Turk, Mar Kamal, was captured and executed. He was working as a truck driver. October 12, 2004 – Two South Africans, Johan Bota and Louis Kampfer, were killed in an ambush south of Baghdad. They were working for Omega Risk Solutions as PMCs. October 14, 2004 – Four Americans, Eric Miner, Steve Osborne, John Pinsono and Ferdinand Ababau, were killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. They were working for Dinkorp International as PMCs. Turk, Ramazan Elbu, was captured and executed. He was working as a truck driver. October 19, 2004 – American, Felipe E. Lugo III, was killed in a mortar attack near Baghdad. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a labor foreman. October 23, 2004 – Krote, Dalibor Barazovic, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He was working for Eurodelta D.O.O. as a truck driver. Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush in Baiji. He was working as a truck driver. October 27, 2004 – American, Travis Schnorr, was killed by a roadside bomb west of Baghdad. He was working for Custer Battle as a PMC. October 29, 2004 – Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush in Mosul. He was working as a truck driver. 
November 2, 2004 American, Radim Sadek Mohammad Sadek, was captured in Baghdad, he is still missing and presumed dead. He was a businessman. November 3, 2004 American, Jeffrey Serrett, was killed in an attack on a prison in Baghdad. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a medic. Britain, John Barker, was killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. He was working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as a PMC. November 5, 2004 Nepali, Tikram Gurung, was killed in an ambush. He was working for Gorka Manpower Company as a PMC. November 7, 2004 Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush in Samara. He was working as a truck driver. November 8 to 16, 2004 A Briton and a Turk, names unknown, were killed during the Battle of Mosul. The Briton was working as a PMC, while the Turk was working as a truck driver. November 9, 2004 Two Americans, Aaron Iverson and David Randolph, were killed in an ambush between Baghdad and Fallujah. They were working for EOD Technology Inc. as PMCs. November 11, 2004 American, Mike Tata, was killed with friendly fire on the way to Baghdad from Fob Far I on Huggins. He was working for Dincorp International as a PMC. November 12, 2004 American, Douglas S. Thomas, was killed by an IED while in a convoy en route to Tikrit. He was working for Dincorp International as a PMC. November 14, 2004 American, Wolf Weiss, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He was working as a private contractor. November 7, 2004 A. Britain and a South African, Sean Husband and Johan Terry, were killed by a roadside bomb in Zabair, near Basra. They were working for Olive Security as PMCs. November 16, 2004 South Korean, Jung Myong Nam, was killed in an accident in Erbil. He was working for Taewa Electric Co. as a private contractor. November, 2004 South African, Jacques Osthauser, was killed in an ambush on a road between Tikrit and Mosul. He was working for Erinis Iraq as a PMC. November 25, 2004 Four Nepalese, names unknown, were killed by a mortar attack in Baghdad. They were working for Global Risk Strategies Limited as PMCs. November 30, 2004 Honduran, José Mauricio Menapuerto, was killed in an ambush. He was working for Dincorp International as a medic. December 8, 2004 Two Americans, Dale Stoffel and Joseph Wempel, were shot and killed outside Baghdad. They were working for CLI USA as construction contractors. December 15, 2004 Italian, Salvatore Santoro, was shot and killed at an insurgent checkpoint outside Ramadi. He was working as an aid worker. December 20, 2004 Turk, Saban Ozsagir, was killed in an ambush near Mosul. He was working as a truck driver. December 21, 2004 Four Americans, Leslie W. Davis, Brett A. Hunter, Alan Smith and Anthony M. Stramiello Jr., were killed by a suicide bomber in Mosul. They were working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as construction foremen and technicians. Topic 2005 January 3, 2005 Three Britons, John Dolman, Nick Pear, one not known and one American, Tracy Hushan, were killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. Dolman and Pears were working for Kroll Security International as PMCs, while the other two worked for Bearing Point Inc. as financial managers. January 16, 2005 American, name unknown, was killed in an ambush north of Baghdad. He was working for Steel Foundation as a PMC. Egyptian, Ibrahim Mohammed Ishmael, was found dead, his body dumped in a street, in Ramadi. He was working as a truck driver. January 19, 2005 Britain, Andrew White, was killed in an ambush south of Baiji. He was working for Janusian Security Risk Management as a PMC. February 8, 2005 Crote, Ivan Pavchevich, was killed in an ambush near Tikrit. He was working as a truck driver. March 3, 2005 Two Americans, Jimmy A. Riddle and Brian J. Wagoner, were killed by a roadside bomb in Ashraf. They were working for Special Operations Consulting Security Management. Group Inc. as PMCs. March 12, 2005 Two Americans, Jim Cantrell and Bruce Durr, were killed by a roadside bomb in Hilla. They were working for Blackwater Security as PMCs. Turk, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb near G. He was working as a truck driver. March 20, 2005 Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush north of Baiji. 
He was working as a truck driver. March 25, 2005 American, Eugene Hyatt, was killed in an accident. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a carpenter foreman. April 1, 2005 American, Alfred Habelman, was killed in an ambush. He was working for a California-based construction company as a PMC. April 11, 2005 Turk, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb in Baiji. He was working as a truck driver. April 16, 2005 Turk, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb south of Mosul. He was working as a truck driver. April 18, 2005 Filipino, Ray Torres, was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for Qatar International Trading Company as a PMC. April 20, 2005 An American, an Australian and a Canadian, James Hunt, Chris Armelman and Stefan Surrett, were killed in ambush in Baghdad. They were working for Edinburgh Risk Inc. as PMCs. Turk, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb in Baghdad. He was working as a truck driver. April 21, 2005 Six Americans, three Bulgarians and two Fijians were killed when their Mi-8 transport helicopter was shot down near Tamiya, north of Baghdad. Their names were, Robert Jason Gore, Stephen Matthew McGovern, Jason Obert, David Patterson, Luke Adam Petrick, Eric Smith, Stoyan Anchev, Lyubomir Karstov, Georgi Nadanov, Jim Atalifo and Timothy Lalakila. The Bulgarians were working as helicopter pilots, while the rest were working for Blackwater Security as PMCs. American, Curtis Hundley, was killed by a roadside bomb near Ramadi. He was working for Blackwater Security as a PMC. Britain, Alan Parkin, was killed by a suicide bomber in Baghdad. He was working for Aegis Defense Services as a PMC. May 1, 2005 Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush north of Baghdad. He was working as a truck driver. May 3, 2005 Turk, Saleh Gulbal, was killed in an ambush near Baghdad. He was working for a Kuwaiti company Eskokakla, as a truck driver. May 7, 2005 Two Americans, Brandon Thomas and Todd Venet, were killed by a car bomb in Baghdad. They were working for CTU Consulting as PMCs. May 9, 2005 – Four South Africans, names unknown, and one Japanese, Akihiko Saito, were killed when the convoy was ambushed and decimated near Hit. Saito was initially wounded and allegedly captured but died later of his wounds. They were working for Heart Security Company as PMCs under contract to PwC Logitzix at the Abu Ghraib Warehouse Distribution Center near Baghdad International Airport. May 10, 2005 – American, Thomas W. Jeitner, was killed by a sniper in Ramadi. He was working for Blackwater Security as a PMC. May 12, 2005 – American, Reuben Ray Miller, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a truck driver. May 22, 2005 – Jordanian, Al Sani, was killed in an ambush. He was working as a truck driver. May 28, 2005 – Lebanese, name unknown, was killed in a drive-by shooting in Baghdad. He was working as an interpreter. June 2, 2005 – Turk, Saleh Gulbal, was killed in an ambush in Baiji. He was working as a truck driver. June 7, 2005 – South African, Shane Ronald Lava, was killed by a roadside bomb in Habania. He was working for Heart Security Company as a PMC. June 9, 2005 – Turk, Yusuf Akar, was killed in an ambush in Ramadi. He was working as a truck driver. June 15, 2005 – Bosnian, Lubisa Aleksic, was killed in an ambush 60 km south of Baghdad. He was working for Lloyd Owen International as a PMC. June 21, 2005 – Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush east of Balad. He was working as a truck driver. June 27, 2005 – American, Deborah Dawn Klecker, was killed by a roadside bomb east of Baghdad. She was working for Dincorp International as a PMC. July 1, 2005 – Turk, name unknown, was killed in an ambush near Baiji. He was working as a truck driver. September 2, 2005 – American Leon Vince Kimbrell was killed by a shaped charge IED near the al Shadea compound in Baghdad. He worked for Dincorp. September 3, 2005 – American, Ron Weeb, U.S. Navy retired RVN vet, and Britain, Jim Martin, were killed on their way back from Tikrit to Baghdad. 
September 20, 2005 Four Americans, Kevin Daggett, Sasha Grenner Case, Christopher Lem and one name unknown, were killed when they were ambushed and massacred in Deluia, their bodies were mutilated. They were working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as truck drivers. November 12, 2005 Sudanese, name unknown, was killed in an attack on the Omani Embassy in Baghdad. He was working as a private contractor. November 14, 2005 Two South Africans, Nace Dupreez and Johannes Potgieter, were killed by a roadside bomb on Haifa Street, Baghdad. November 17, 2005 South African, Tabs from 23 Battalion, died as a result of wounds he sustained from a roadside bomb on November 14, on Haifa Street, Baghdad. December 22, 2005 An American and a South African, Kyle Kaczynski and Jan Strauss, were killed by a roadside bomb north of Baghdad. Kaczynski was working for Kroll Management while Strauss was working for Dinkorp International. They were both PMCs. Topic 2006 January 5, 2006 Indian, Sibi Kora, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working as a truck driver. March 6, 2006 South African, Morn Peters, was killed by a roadside bomb in Basra. May 7, 2006 German, Karl Saville was killed in Baghdad. He was working for Danubia Global as security contractor. May, 2006 South African, Richard Andrew Culver, was killed by a roadside bomb in Baghdad. June 8, 2006 Australian Wayne Schultz was killed when the armoured vehicle in which he was travelling was destroyed by an explosive device. He was working for Armour Group. June 11, 2006 Britain Kenneth Clark killed in Tikrit by a roadside bomb. June 14, 2006 – A Swedish security contractor was killed by an explosive device. He was working for Genric Limited. July 15, 2006 – Syrian, Saleh Fawzi al-Madani, was captured in Baghdad. His body was found mutilated at the beginning of August. He was working as a private contractor. August 19, 2006 – South African, Edmund Brewer, was killed by a roadside bomb. September 17, 2006 – American, Darrell Leroy Weatherby, was killed by a sniper in Horiger. He was working for Dinkorp as a PMC. October 2, 2006 – Two Turks, Nuri Aksarin and Zeki Kilikwo, were killed in an ambush near Mosul. They were working as truck drivers. October 30, 2006 – South African, Morn Peters, killed by hostile fire. Topic 2007 January 7, 2007 American, Glenda Oliver Butts, died of natural causes. She was working for Two Rivers Consultants as a construction consultant. January 9, 2007 2007 Ballad aircraft crash, five pilots, citizens of Moldavia and 28 Turkish construction workers were killed. January 17, 2007 – Croatian Zelko both was killed in an ambush in Baghdad. He was working for Unity Resources Group as security contractor. Also, Hungarian, Janos Namath, killed same contact. January 23, 2007 – Five Americans, Steve Gurnett, Ron Johnson, Art Laguna, Shane Stanfield and Casey Cassavant, were killed by insurgents during the rescue of U.S. dignitaries from an ambushed meeting in eastern Baghdad. They worked for Blackwater and were contracted Department of State PMCs. February 2007 – U.S. citizen Donald E. Tolfrey Jr. was killed at Camp Anaconda. He was worked for KBR, Inc. as truck driver. February 15 – South African, Glenn Joyce, was killed by an IED in Baghdad. February 18, Don Schneider, an American civilian driving a post office mail truck from Kuwait to Camp Cedar, Iraq, died from two 155 round IEDs. March 2007, U.S. citizen Carolyn Edwards was killed in Baghdad's Green Zone. She was worked for KBR, Inc. as logistics coordinator. April 5, 2007, Kuwaiti, name unknown, was killed in an ambush in Basra. He was working as a translator. April 15, 2007 – Five Iranians, names unknown, were killed in an ambush in Bakabar. 
they were working as truck drivers. June 12, 2007 American, Michael Wayne Butler, was killed by a rocket-propelled grenade into Crete. He worked for Dincorp International as a PMC. July 15, 2007 Australians Brendan Hurst and Justin Saint were killed by a rocket-propelled grenade in an ambush. They were working for BLP International. August 28, 2007 South African, Franz Robert Brand, was killed by an IED. He was employed as a security specialist by the London-based Armour Group Iraq. October 10, 2007 U.S. citizens Michael Doheny, Micah Shaw, Steve Everard, killed by EFP near al Kut. They was worked as a PSC for SOC LLC U.S. private security company. Topic. 2008 June 12, 2008 Britain, Daryl Fern, was killed by a roadside bomb. He was working for Aegis as a PMC. June 13, 2008 South African Desmond Milnes died from wounds sustained in the same attack as Daryl Fern. November 13, 2008 Three Russians, two Ukrainians, one Belarusian, names unknown, and one Indian, J. Chandran Apakutan, were killed when their AN-12 transport plane crashed near Fallujah. They were working for Falcon Aviation Group as cargo plane operators. Topic 2009 March 4, 2009 American, Justin Pope, died of an accidental gunshot wound. He was working for Dincorp International as a PMC March 9, 2009 Pakistani, name unknown, was killed by Katyusha rocket fire in Basra. He was working as a private contractor at Basra International Airport. March 26, 2009 Hungarian, Tibor Bogdan was killed by U.S. soldier near Camp Taji, north of Baghdad May 15, 2009 Britain, name unknown, was killed by a roadside bomb in Hilla. He was working as a PMC. May 22, 2009 American, Jim Kitterman, was stabbed and killed by fellow contractors in the Green Zone in Baghdad. He was working for Janus Construction as an engineer. Larry Eugene Young, was killed in a mortar attack on the Green Zone in Baghdad. He was working for Corporate Training Unlimited as a PMC. May 25, 2009 American, Kenneth Rose was killed by a roadside bomb in Fallujah. He was working as a private contractor. May 25, 2009 Two Americans, Terence Terry, Barnich and Dr. Majid Hussein, were killed by an IED outside Fallujah. They were working for the Iraq Transition Assistance Office. June 20, 2009 The bodies of two Britons, Jason Cresswell and Jason Swindlehurst, were recovered in Baghdad. They were captured on May 27, 2007. They were working for Gardaworld as PMCs. July 17, 2009 Two Americans, William F. Hinchman and one name unknown, were killed when their helicopter crashed in Baghdad. They were working for Blackwater Security as PMCs. July 29, 2009 The bodies of two Britons, Alec McLaughlin and Alan McMenemy, were recovered in Baghdad. They were captured on May 27, 2007. They were working for Gardaworld as PMCs. August 9, 2009 An Australian and a Briton, Darren Hoare and Paul McGuigan, were killed by a fellow contractor in the Green Zone in Baghdad. They were working for Armour Group as PMCs. September 1, 2009 American, Adam Hermanson, was electrocuted in Baghdad. He was working for Triple Canopy as a PMC. September 13, 2009 American, Lucas Trent Vinson, was killed by a U.S. soldier at Contingency Operating Base Speicher in Tikrit. He was working for Kellogg, Brown and Root as a private contractor. Topic 2010 March 10 – Britain, Robbie Napier, an Aegis security contractor, died after the IED explosion in Iraq May 19 – Britain, Nick Crouch was killed by a suicide car bomber in Mosul. Two other Western contractors, believed to be Americans, and at least one Iraqi contractor were seriously injured in the attack. All the contractors worked for the British security company Aegis. July 22, two Ugandans and a Peruvian, names unknown, were working as PMCs who were guarding the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad when they were killed in a rocket attack on the Green Zone. September 14, Britain, Carl Bowen, was killed in a car accident near Kirkuk. Topic 
Topic 2011. March 16 – American, Johnny Lee Smith died in Germany from injuries he received in Iraq when the truck he was driving hit an area covered in oil that had been ignited. He received burn injuries while trying to escape his vehicle. He was KBR truck driver. June 23 – American, Stephen Everhart, was killed when his convoy was ambushed in Baghdad. He was working for USAID as an international development and finance expert. <laughs>